let me talk about the magnetic pressure and tension. So this is uh, MHD, uh, the momentum equations of MHD equation. Um, so except this, uh, this term is, comes from the, the Lorentz force in the fluid equation. We need to study this part, this part, only this part comes from the electromagnetic effect. And all of that, like if we only consider this, this portion, it will be the purely hydrodynamic. So let's study this term. Uh, let's uh, first plug in um, Ampere's law, uh, substitute J, and we arrive to this, this equation. And we have, we use, utilize this uh, vector, uh, this vector identity, and basically substitute A and B to B, the both are B, and we have this expression. Then, uh, then the J cross B over C will reduce to this expression. Um, we can we can make B we can make B vector B to like a B B hat. B hat is just a unit vector. Uh, to illustrate a point, I will talk about later. Um, so so it will become like this. So this term will become this, and we decompose the gradient to two components, perpendicular and parallel. Uh, so, uh, so, so yeah, the, there it is, and uh, there's two components with respect to the, uh, to the gradient that uh, do the, the uh, derivative of this, leave this up outside, and the derivative of that, and leave this outside. And uh, as we know that the graph, the, uh, the, the graph B square equals to B graph, graph B, you know, basic calculus. Uh, so we, this become, uh, the, this term become this. So as you can see, those two terms cancels. So we're left with this. So this is this is a rather uh, rather easy to comprehend physically. This is in a sense a uh, tension. If we have some some curvature of the magnetic field, then you can see that uh, this term essentially is is a graph. Uh, graph, graph parallel uh, dot b b hat. So if you have initially have a straight, straight, a straight uh, magnetic field going this way, and the next moment it go a little bit curved that way, then the change, the change will be like to that direction. So it will be like this. So if we have some curvature like that, the tension will move inward. And this can be uh, can be related to the good curvature and bad curvature of uh, in Pokemon. Uh, and then the pressure, the higher the the, the higher the magnetic field, the stronger the the uh, the harder the higher gradient magnetic field will push it up. Like essentially, they have like pressure, so the higher the magnetic field will changes will have stronger stronger pressure. So just like if you have strong gradient, uh, strong pressure gradient, you'll have, have a stronger force. You have a stronger magnetic field gradient, then you'll have a stronger force. Then this, this term will be in the future considered as a, ma a magnetic pressure. A magnetic pressure, a pressure over magnetic pressure um, is beta. It's, uh, a very important, uh, very important parameter in plasma physics. So yeah, so this term, so this term will essentially become one tension term uh, and a pressure term. Tension can be comprehended as this, pressure can be comprehended as that. Blue line is magnetic field line, and this is the magnetic field line. Just illustrate the point.